Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we are going to compare the SG2 that we embossed before with Lampho TV9. We will see in this video what we have from these devices, the difference between them and what we have benefit in SG2 versus the TV9 so stay tuned in this video. The SG2 smartwatch has a full rounded touch screen with 1.19 inch AMOLED and a good resolution. We have wireless charging and we have IP68 waterproof, app dial push, dial long bright, Bluetooth 5.1, and we have heart rate, blood pressure, heart pressure, stopwatch, music control, remote take, and also we have the ACG, which is uh, benefit in the SG2 because none other smartwatches have this. In the TV9 we have 1.3 inch display, Bluetooth 4.0 and plenty of options like heart rate, blood pressure, sleep metering, pedometer, alarm, call reject and sport like walking, running, swimming, badminton, football etc. These are a few specs about the TV9. Let's see now what we have in the software of the LG2. As you can see in the first page, we have this beautiful face. In the upper part, we have battery and QR code. Left, we have notification. Bottom, we have the weather. You can see we can enter the steps from the right. We have here the sleep monitoring. Next, we have heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and the ACG, which we will try later. We have here the menu, as you can see we have running and we have other options for sports. We have the history, when you press as you can see it immediately begins the sport. We have the music control and we have here the options of the menu, as you can see we have find phone, we have alarm clock and other things like this. Now let's see here what we have in the TV9, as you can see the first page we have time, date, percentage of battery, blood pressure, taps, etc. We have sports, sleep, heart rate, training, blood pressure, blood oxygen, messages, player, shutter, others, here in others, lung press, we have switch style, mute brightness we have other brightness as well so you can raise or turn the brightness off as you can see sometimes the touch screen doesn't work that good so you have to just get used to this smartwatch it's not the most rel reliable one but okay it works and we have reset power off and the Defit app QR code at the bottom. Let's begin here some tests starting from the SG2. We have here the history as I said. Hard rate the first option let's see how fast it measures our hard rate. As you can see the first results are here, not so fast but again not so slow as well. We can complain for the speed, it's normal and honestly the LG2 works pretty good. The screen is very good as I mentioned in the beginning, it's AMOLED and the colors are just right. So you can see now the heart rate is still measuring which means we have a good result. You can see the 75 is normal for a human heart rate. And now we have here the blood pressure. Let's see how fast it measures this.
and we have the first result honestly this took a little bit longer than i expected but again we can't complain we have now here the blood oxygen the percentage of blood oxygen you can see at the bottom we have the history and three of these options and we have the ecg after this As you can see we have the first result here 97 percent and this is a good result also you saw the screen timeout it's not so late so you can see it's very good the sg2 is a good smartwatch to own we have here the acg now this is an option that not all the smartwatches have we have just a few smartwatches in our hand that we have acg on them this is the first result as you can see pretty fast and pretty good honestly i'm impressed from the sg2 software and options how fast they work and how good they work let's see now how the tv9 will work let's do some tests here as well we have the sports data in the beginning Hard rate is the first option, long press to start it and it begins, let's see if it measures faster than the SG2. As you can see we have the first result and it measured faster than the SG2 which is quite impressing but honestly we have some downside in the TV9 which is the first the graphics or the screen is not as good as the sg2 as you can see we have here cycling running walking basketball badminton football and swimming let's try walking is the first one as you can see we have here distance steps burn calories and heart rate and we have the seconds going at the bottom we don't have too many options for sport but we can still live with it we have here the blood pressure lung press again to start it and let's see how fast it measures it The blood pressure took a while but now we have the result let's go ahead to the blood oxygen and you can see even the tv9 has a lot of options and the oxygen works pretty good and very fast honestly so we don't think we have anything else to test here this was all for today's video i hope you find this video interesting and helpful if so hit the like button subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device